So in food in Vanuatu, the most common food is lap lap. If you've ever heard of taro, that's a common Polynesian food. Um, they will they take a, a metal can and they cut it in half and they pound it out so it's a flat piece of metal. And then they take a nail and they poke lots and lots and lots of holes in this flat tin can. Um, so it looks like on your cheese grater, the side where you would like shred a lemon, the really, really fine um, grating, that's what this can is. The whole thing is kind of like that part where you scrape the lemon on your cheese grater, if that makes sense. Um, but what happens is they take the taro or another root called kamala or um, manioc um, or banana and green banana and they scratch it against this thing until it's all just kind of mush. It kind of looks like um, cream of wheat, I guess. And they lay it out on banana leaves and they smash it real thin and they can put chicken on it or pork or vegetables if they want. And then they cover it up, tie it up, and they put it on top of hot, um, rocks for a couple hours until it's cooked all the way. And then they take it out and to me, when I first tasted it, I first saw it, it looked like rubber. Or if you've ever taken hot glue and you just squirt it out and then it dries, that's what it, it felt like and what it tasted like at first. Um, it was, I had a really hard time with the food at first. I tasted it probably the first week on my mission and I couldn't swallow it. I, I, it just made me gag, and so my companion had to finish eating it for me. But by the end of my mission, I loved it. And I think the last week I was serving, oh, I probably had it at least once every day, if not twice. Um, my favorite food, though, would be Simboro. And that is the same, same thing. They grate the, the root vegetable, except they, I roll it. They put a little bit, bit of it, excuse me, in what's called island cabbage and it's kind of like swiss chard kind of like spinach i guess it's a leafy green vegetable and you put a little bit of the lap lap stuff inside and you roll it up so it's about that big and then you boil it and then you milk coconuts and put coconut milk inside some ginger some garlic some vegetables green beans maybe or tomatoes and then you eat it it's kind of like a soupy soupy stew, I guess, and that is delicious. Um, I would make that with my companions all the time and I loved it, so good. Probably the most shocking thing that I ever ate was one mama, she made a slap lap, but because she didn't have money to buy chicken, she had went down to the ocean and she had picked the little black worms that were in the sand and she had put that on top of the lap lap instead of other meat and then cooked it. So when she gave us this lap lap, there were black little dead worms all over it. And I, I couldn't do it. It was, it was just not what I was used to. It was really hard for me to eat something like that because that's not something that we eat here in America.